so what is up guys welcome to another video today we are going to create this simple looking javascript calculator this is a simple calculator but we are going to learn so many things during these tutorials so you can see that here we have all the numbers that you can see that and also we have some math operation so you can do the math operation and let's do some operation here so let's say that 20 plus 3 and you can see that if I click again addition so you can see that that's our history and here we have our temporary result so you can see that the temporary result is the 20 plus 3 means 23 but that's not our actual result so we can still do our operation so let's say that I wanna add 6 and now I wanna have my final result and now you can see that uh, we don't have the temporary result anymore but we have this nice result here and the history is here so that's what we are going to build and also you can do any kind of math operation that we can see here so also you can see that we will have these two functionality which is the c means clear all this means the clear last entry or you can see that last entity so uh, this last entity this will do actually this will clear the last element that we entered in our calculator and this one actually will clear all the element from our calculator so let's clear all the things as you can see that everything is cleared also however you can see that let's say that this was a wrong one so let's say that i want to clear the last entry so you can see that the last entry is cleared so you can see that it is working also we actually doing a validation here we don't you can see that we don't actually have the ability to add multiple dot because that's makes sense we don't want to have multiple dots as you can see in a number in a number we will have only one decimal point so we will also check this and we will make the validation for it and the most interesting part is we can operate this calculator from our keyboard so let's operate this from our keyboard let's say that 45 plus 50 and if i hit enter you can see that that's our number and you can see it is working perfectly with our keyboard too so that's what we are going to build in this video hope you are going to like it and if you do please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and no more talk let's dive into it so hello everyone welcome to the last video of our 30 days 30 submit challenge so for today we are going to create a simple calculator with javascript and this is the last video because i already made all the videos as you can see and if you are interested to check out this repo i'll link it in the description where you can find all the interesting submits of this 30 days 30 submits challenge you can find the source code and the video as well together here so let's come back to our file here in the html css and javascript all are empty so in our html first of all let's get a boilerplate with exclamation sign and here as you can see that in the body let's have a section so inside the section i will have a div with a class of container so container so inside this container i will have all of my elements for the calculator so here is my end project if i open it as we can see that that's the end project and if you can see that we have two parts on this calculator first is the display and second part is our number pad here as you can see so all the numbers and uh, we have this display so first of all let's separate them from each other with the class of display so d with the class of display so display and here inside the display i will have actually three kind of display and here you can see that let me show you so 10 plus 20 and plus and as you can see that this is our history the first display as you can see and if i say that plus 30 so you can see that this is the working display whenever i will enter any kind of number this will be displayed here and also the final result will be displayed here so this is the second display and the third display as you can see that this is the third display which is showing us the temporary result so you can see that the history is 20 plus 10 and the temporary result is 30 and i hit plus so it will calculate all the things and give us a temporary result and if i hit enter so let's say that after that i will also 
add 30 and if i hit enter so the final result will be here and there will be no temporary result so basically we will deal with three kind of display as you can see that here so let's create those display first of all we'll have our display number one and two and the last one will be the temporary result display so let's get those so d with the class of display one so display and that's it and the second one will be the display two and the last one will be the temporary result display so temp result we can say and that's it and let's say that for our initial state the display one will be zero and also the display number two will be zero and if i save we should see those number that's it so after that let's come to the actual button so after the display so this is the whole display div after that let's get another div with the class of all buttons so all buttons and inside that button we will have all of our buttons so let's create first button which is the clear button as you can see that that's our first and this is the clear last items so let's create those buttons so here let's get a div with a class of button and also we will have another class which is the all clear so all clear and this will be the capital c and if i duplicate it and this will be our c e and this will basically clear the last entity so we can see that last entity clear so last and dt clear and also we will have this one which is the mod so this will be the modulus and for that we can say that so you can see that we have these actually the mathematical operation so for those we will use a specific class which is the operation so operation because that's a mathematical operation and if i duplicate that so the next one will be this divide one so this will be for the division so for the division we will use this slash for our slash and also this will be the operation so we don't need to change it and after that we need to create this seven so duplicate and let's say that seven so this seven actually is a number this is not an operation so we will say that this will be the number so we will have all the numbers with this class which is the number class and let's duplicate it two more time because this will be the eight and this will be the nine and after that we will have this multiply one so this will be the operation so we need to make sure that that's have the multiply so this is actually similar to have this x so we will have this capital x and this will be an operation and also after the multiply sign we will have our number four so this will be the four and this is actually number not the operation and after that let's have the five and six two more time duplication and five and six and after that the last one uh not the last one actually so this one will be the minus or this is the subtraction sign so we can see that that's an operation and also let's have one two three number after the subtraction one so that's the subtraction and one two three so that's are the numbers that we need to add so this will be the two and also we will need number three and after that we need to add a sign for the addition so let's have this plus sign and this is a operation so let's have the class for operation and the last thing that we need actually we need this O and we need this dot or the decimal point and lastly we need this equation sorry not the equation that's the equal sign okay so let's get those so that will be the zero so this is a number so let's have the number and also let's have 
a specific class for the zero because we will style it specifically as you can see that it is a spanning from here to there so that's not the regular style as you can see there so we will give it a specific style so that's why we actually need a specific class so button zero so that's the specific class that we will have for our zero and also let's have the dot so we also need to give it a specific class so let's say that dot and the last one that i need actually this will be the equation sorry not the equation i am saying it once again so this will be the equals actually so for that we don't need this dot class and that's also not a number so we will have another class which is the equal class for this one so equal so that's it and if i save it now if i come to my working project you can see that all the numbers that's looking ugly but we will style it so let's style it so here let's link the style sheet here so that will link our css so first of all in our css we need to give it a padding zero in the universal selector so padding zero and margin will be also zero and also say that box sizing will be the border box so border box and if i save as you can see that there are no extra gap anymore and after that let's come to the html and say that the font family will be the montserrat so montserrat and actually i installed this montserrat font in my pc so that's why i don't need to add it from the fonts.google.com so if you don't have this montserrat font installed in your machine so please go to the fonts.com and sorry fonts.google.com and from here you can actually import this font so after that let's come to our section so section and here let's say that the background color will be the this will be a rgb color so rgb and it will be 18 and 26 and 31 so if i save now you can see that we have this black background and after that let's say that mean height so let me say that the mean height will be 100 vh and also let's say that width will be so width will be let's say that 100 percent and also display will be flex because i want my content in the center so also let's say that align items center and also justify content will be the center so if i save now you can see that the content is now in the center so after that let's come to the container so container and here let's say that the width will be so let's say that 90 percent and also the max width will be something like 400 pixel and if i save now you can't see the width actually because we don't have any kind of background color so let's have a background color so that will be rgv color and this will be 39 and also 55 and the last one one eight two and if i save now you can see that that's our background color not one eight two actually this will be 59 and if i save now you can see that's our background color it's looking good and you can see that the max width for it is 400 pixel and also let's say that border radius will be something like 8 pixel and also overflow will be hidden perfect and last we need to style our display so let's come to the display so that's a class so this layer and here let's say that background color so background color will be so that will be rgb color and the red will be 182 and 182 and the last one will be 182 and if i save as you can see that that's our background color for our display and after that let's come here and say that the height of this will be 100 pixel and also let's say that the width will be obviously the 100 percent and the text align will be on the right and padding we will have 20 pixel and the last one we need to increase the font size of 30 pixel and if i save now you can see that that's our all the fonts and actually the text is aligned in the right side that's it
and after that let's come to our display number one so come here and say that display one and here let's say that the opacity let's decrease the opacity of this one so this will be the 0.4 because i don't want to have the same opacity as you can see that it's looking good and the font size will be a little bit lower so 20 pixel perfect and after that we need to give it a height so height will be 20 pixel and also we need to say that the overflow of this one will be the hidden mm, that's it and we need to go to the temporary result so let's come to the temporary result temp result so let's have a placeholder for each so let's say that one two for now so that's the temporary results but it is not perfectly in place so for that let's say that what i need actually i need to place it a absolute position and in the in this left corner so for that let's say that the position of this one will be the absolute so now make sure that the parent one which is the display class have the position of relative so position relative and that's it so if i save now you can see that it is actually in absolute position now we can style it so let's say that it will be in the bottom zero and also it will be in the left 10 what i need actually i need to have a font size of 20 pixel and the opacity is 0.3 so now you can see that that's our temporary result so actually let's keep it 0.4 as our display number two so display number one so you can see that it's looking good and let's go to the buttons style so here first of all in our all buttons so all buttons so not buttons all button so let me check actually all buttons sorry so buttons and here let's say that uh, color will be white smoke and also the display i want to have it as a grid and also the grid template so the grid template i want to use what is the grid template so it will be repeat and i want to have four columns and also the four row so four one fr and here is the repeat for one fr and if i save so you can see that it's not working because i think that will be the underscore instead of this hyphen so if i save now you can see that it's perfectly in position so now what i need to do actually i need to give them some padding and height and width so let's give it so inside all this button class what i need i need to have some border so if i come here and say that border will be so 0.5 pixel so a really subtle border solid and i will have the color so let me copy the color here and if i save now you can see that we have this subtle border here so display i want to have a display inline block and also height will be let's say that 100 pixel and if i save now you can see that the height is 100 pixel and also the width will be 100 percent or you can see that and after that what i need actually i need to display them as a flex because i wanna have the content of the afd item in the center so display will be flex so actually it is displaying flags we don't need this inline block here so display flags and align items center and justify content center and that's it if i save now you can see that the content is now in the center now what i need actually i need to increase the font size so font size will be let's keep it 30 pixel so now you can see it's looking perfect and finally we just need to add a cursor so cursor will be the pointer and also let's add a hover effect for this one so button and hover and let's say that background color will be the rgb 
and 30 will be 43 and the last one will be the 46 and if I save now if I hover now you can see that we have these nice background change here whenever I will hover it so good and after that what I need actually I need to add a specific style for this zero I wanna have it with two item space so for that what I can do actually so button zero so that's the specific class that we have in our this button so grid column so we can say that it will be from one to three so it will start from this one and i am saying that it will grow from one to three and if i save now you can see that it is growing from the one and it is ending in the line number three and that's it as you can see that it's looking good so we don't need this placeholder of our result temporary result or you can use it zero so it's looking good let's go to our javascript so before that let's link the javascript file so skip source i wanna add the main.js so i save it and here in our javascript so first of all let's actually select all the dom element that we need actually so let's say that constant display element one so display one element so that's our display number one so document dot query selector and we wanna get the display one class so display one and that's it so we wanna have also the display two so for that it will be the display two class and also we will name it display two element and also let's have the temporary result display so let's say that temp result so that's the class that we have in our temporary result display so it will be the temporary result element temp result element and after that let's go to the number so we will have all of our number here so let's say that constant and we can name it something like numbers element so numbers element and here let's say that document dot query selector and actually we need all because we have multiple numbers here so we have this number class inside of these numbers so it will get all the numbers and after that we need to get all the operations so we need to get it with the operations class so and also name it operation element So after that, let's come to the equal. So we need to get the equal. So equal. And this is a single element. So we don't need this all. And let's say that it will be the equal element. So equal. And the last one that I need actually the clear all so this is the clear all and this is the clear last entity so we need to make sure about that so this is the clear and also we have a class of clear i believe actually all clear that the class we have in our this c so also we need to grab this one which is the clear the last entity so we can say that what was the name let me check last entity clear so let's have it so we can say that last entity clear and also let's grab it with that last entity clear so we can see that clear last element so clear last element capital L so that's it actually we have all of our constant and finally what i need actually i need to have some variables here with a let variable so let's say that display one number will be the initially empty and also the display two number will be also the empty and also we will have a result here so result which will be also a null and our operation so let 
operation uh, this will be the last operation that we did so last operation equals to the empty and also we want to have a lat variable for our have dot so this will make sense whenever we will use it so i will show you when we are going to use those right now let's keep it like that so now what i need actually i need to add an email listener to every number that we have here as you can see so let's loop through each of our numbers elements so numbers element dot for each and here let's name it number and let's say that for each number we want to do at even listener so number dot add even listener and whenever we will actually click so that will be a click event so whenever we will click them what we will do so let's have the event here and let's say that whenever we will click what I want to do actually so first of all what I need to do actually I need to check for our dot so for now what we have is we can actually add multiple dot in our number but that's not what we want we want to have one dot which will be the decimal point of our number so we need to check it so let's come here and say that if our e dot if our e dot target dot number oh sorry e dot target dot inner text equals if it is a dot and we don't have have dot false means actually if we are clicking this dot button and actually we don't have any kind of dot earlier so for this case what I wanna do actually I wanna add the dot because we don't have the dot actually so that's what we are checking here because it is checking that if it is false then what we want to do so if we don't have any kind of dot previously we will say that the have dot will be that true and else if means if we have any kind of dot earlier in our number then what we will do we'll say that e dot target dot in our text is equals to dot if this time the dot we are checking is the true so if our if this dot is true then what we want to do so if the dot is true means we already have the dot in our number previously we want to just return from here so return from here so we want to return we don't want to go further so let me recap it once again for you so here what i'm doing is we are checking that if we are clicking this dot so that's what we are saying here if we are clicking this dot and we don't have dot previously in our number so if this is the case that's okay we can have a dot in our number but if we are clicking the dot but we actually have a dot in our number we don't wanna add another dot in our number so that's why we are returning simply so that's what we are checking so if we don't have the dot in our number we are going further we are actually making have dot true and we will go further but whenever we are saying that we already have a dot and we also clicking this so that's not so that's the case when we need to return we don't need to go further and add a dot so that's what it is saying here and let's go to further here and here let's say that now what i want to do so whenever i will click a number i want to change the number in our this display so in our display number two number plus equal e dot target dot in our text means what i'm doing is whenever we will click any kind of number it will show us here with this zero so let's recap it and let's actually show the number so to show the number what i want to do actually i want to go to the display to element and here i can say that inner text will be 
our display to number so if i save it and whenever i'll click a number as you can see that now we are showing here and if i click again to what it will do actually it will come here and check it so let, you can see that we are actually having already two and whenever we will click again to it will actually add the two that we clicked e dot target dot inner text so in the inner text we have the two so it will add the two with the previous number that we have so if we click the three so it will add the three in the end of our previous number that we have here so, and in the line 24 we are actually showing it in our screen as you can see here so that's it so let's check for our dot that we did here so let's say that we can have a dot so whenever i will click a dot so you can see that it's actually showing us the dot because for the first time we are going with the first condition so you can see that we are saying that if we click the dot and we don't have any kind of dot previously we can go further and we can also make this have dot true so whenever we have the dot true so we can't actually add another dot so let me check it so if i click now this dot you can see that there is no dot here because what we did here we actually made this have dot true so that's why it is not having any kind of dot once again it's now just saying that we want to return we don't want to add two dot in one number so that's it and after that let's go to our operation so that's it for our number now we can operate any kind of number and it will be added here so after that let's deal with the operation mathematical operation that we have here so for that let's come here and let's say that operation element dot for each so we are actually looping through once again so for each operation so what I want to do actually I want to say that I want to add even listener so operation dot add even listener add event listener and the event will be the click event so click event and here let's say that I will pass the event here as the E and in our event whenever we'll click what I want to do first of all I want to check that so let me refresh it so first of all whenever i will click this operation first of all i need a number to operate with this operation so let's say that i have 20 now we can add with the 20 now we can click to add or we can subtract or we can do any kind of operation but if our user click this operation whenever we don't have a number or we don't have a display one number so we want to prevent that because this will not make any kind of sense we don't have any kind of number do the operation so this will not make any kind of sense because we don't have any kind of number to do this math operation so first of all whenever i will click this operation num operation button as you can see that i need to check that we already have a number to add the operation so if we have any kind of display to number then we will go otherwise we will return so this exclamation sign will check the opposite one so we are checking that if there is no kind of display number 2 means if we don't have any kind of number then we will return but if there is the number then we can actually do the operation so for the functionality first of all we will add the have dot is the true sorry not true the false so the false because whenever i am going let's say that 20 dot 20 20.3 and if i click multiply so after that we need to add a new number and in this new number we want to add a dot here so for that what i need to do actually i need to change this have dot false now we are allowed to add new dot in our new number so after that let's come here and say that constant operation name so operation name equals to so what kind of operation we want to do so we can add the operation name by the inner html so or the inner text e dot target dot inner text so that's the operation name 
so if i click the multiply the operation name will be the this cross sign so perfect and after that let's say that we wanna check for our display one and display two and the last operation if these three things is present we wanna do the operation so let's say that if we have any kind of display one number and if we have any kind of display two number and the last operation if we have these three present we will do the operation so for that i will create another separate function which will be the math operation math operation so we will create this function in a moment else what we want to do so if we don't have any kind of this number one number two and also this last operation so this is the case when we want to show our result here okay so the temporary result that we have here so for that what i want to do actually i will say that result equals to parts float and display two number so display two number parts float why we are using this so however we are actually you can see that in our display number two we are actually storing this number that we entered in our calculator we are storing in the display number two so whenever we are storing it is actually a string it's not a number so we need to make it back a number by this parse float so in this parse float what we will do actually we will pass a string and it will give us back a number so now what we have is we have a number here in our this result instead of a string so use this parse float to make a string to a number so perfect so after that let's actually console log our result here so console dot log the result and let me check it here inspect console log and let's say that 20 plus so info in our info or you can use the all so in the info you can see that we have 20 so if i say that 30 so we don't have those functionality right now so you can see that whenever i am adding or we are doing a operation here we what we are doing is we are actually having the 20 that we have the previous number in our console log so which is perfectly fine and after that what i want to do actually i want to call another function which is the clear variable or clear var so let's call this function so clear var so we will pass the operation name here so operation name so inside of this function what i want to do so i want to clear this display number two and i want to move this 20 from display number two to the display number one and also i want to show the temporary result here in our this temporary result display so this kind of work we will do inside of this clear var variable sorry the function so let's get the function first of all so function clear var so inside the function we have the access of our operation name so we can simply call it name and for the default value we will use a empty quote here so let's say that in our display number one so it will be the display number plus equal so we are actually what we are doing we are clearing this 20 and we are moving this 20 to the display number one so display number one will be display number two that we have so this two number and we will have a, a space and also we will have or add the name of our operation that we will have and after that we will also have a, a space and so after that what i want to do actually i want to update our screen here so let's say that display one element dot in our html 
so in a text equals to display one number so what i am doing is we are actually updating it so let's test it out so 20 so now whenever i'll click any kind of operation what it will do actually it will call this clear variable or clear var so let's add so whenever i will add as you can see that it's actually adding this plus but we don't have this 20 so let's see actually what is happening here so the problem is you can see that we are actually adding the display number one so we need to add the display number two so that's the number what we have in our display number two so we are adding this display number two so this will be 20 and we are also adding the operation name that we are clicking so let me check it once again so let's save it and 20 plus now you can see that it's working perfectly we are moving display number two and plus we also have the operation name so what we have in our display number two is will be showed here and after that we will show the operation name so perfect and after that what i want to do actually i want to clear our display number two so to clear it what i want to do i want to say that display to element dot in our text will be the empty and also what i want to do i will say that display to number will be the empty so the first one this one display sorry not one so it will be the two that's what we need to clear so what i want to do so what i'm doing here is as you can see that display to element dot in html so this will basically update our skin so this will update this one and this display to will actually the javascript variable that we are using to store our display number two number so perfect and if i save it so let's test it out so 20 plus now you can see that we are clearing this display two and we are adding this number in our display one perfect and also what i want to do actually i want to show our temporary result here so i can say that temp result element dot inner html so the inner html or the inner text will be this result that we have here perfect so let me check it once again 20 plus now you can see that we have this perfect so every time whenever we are doing a operation now we are going in here we are checking the display number two is present or not means if we have any kind of number to operation with and if we have we are checking another thing as you can see that display number one display number two and last operation so for the initial state means the first one will have the display number two but it will not have any kind of display number one so let me show you what i mean so you can see that whenever i'll click this 20 and i will have a operation i want to have the operation so we have the display number two as you can see but we don't have any kind of display number one and we also don't have any kind of last operation so for that it will not run this math operation it will run this else so here we are saying that the result will be the basically what we will have in our display too so let's prove it so you can see that the result will be whatever we have in our display too so perfect and after that let's go and create some math operation so for the math operation function let's come here and say that function math operation and here let's say that what i want to do actually so i want to check if our last operation so if our last operation so what is the last operation so that's the last operation which is the empty so we need to update it whenever we will click any kind of operation so we are clicking the operation here and here as you can see that that's the place we need to update our last operation so last operation will be the operation number we have here so the operation name so whenever we click any kind of operation it will also update the last operation which will be the same name so now we can check here so if we have any kind of last operation we can check it so if our last operation equals to 
a capital X means we wanna multiply then what I wanna do so I will say that the result will be parts float so we are going to use it because we wanna have the operation with a number because you know that whenever I am actually storing those number in these variables number display two number or display one number whenever we are actually storing them those are actually a string not number so to make a math operation we need to convert them in a number from the string so that's why we are using this parse float so from here we will say that the result means the last temporary result that we have into the display two that we will have so let's say that i wanna multiply or let me show you what i mean so let's say that 20 multiply 2 so that's the math operation that i wanna do so what i will do actually i will say that 20 means our this temporary result into our this display two number i can say that parse float display to number and we will store those in the result variable means we will generate the result and also we can show them in our this temporary result display so let's check it here so let's say that 20 into 2 so we don't have any kind of equal functionality right now so for now what i can do i can add another operation so let's say that i want to add another multiply so if i hit this cross now you can see that we have our temporary result which is the 14 so this is the math operation that we did here so let's do also all the operation that we have so else if if our last operation is equals to the plus what i want to do i will say that result so you guess it so it will be the exactly same that we have here but this time it will be the plus so what i can do i can just copy this and paste it here so for this time let's say that if we have any kind of minus means we want to subtract so it this will be the subtract so let's so if we have any kind of division so let's have the divide here and also we want to divide and the last one is the mod so if we have the modulus here we will simply have the modulus yeah so perfect that's are all math operation that we need and if i save let's say that 20 into 2 into you can see that we already have this math operation and the result is here let's say that from that i also wanna multiply it with the 3 and whatever the result will be from that i wanna subtract so the result is 1 to 0 and from that i wanna subtract 100 and if i wanna plus whatever the result will be from that so you can see that all the operation is happening accurately so after that what i wanna do actually i wanna add functionality for our this equal and before that i wanna mention about this line as you can see that whenever i am clicking any kind of operation i am saying that have dot equals to false why we are changing this have dot equals to false from the true so because as you can see that we have 20.3 and we do can't actually add any kind of dot so that's okay so let's say that i will have a addition so at now whenever i am clicking this addition what i am doing here i am saying that now we don't have any kind of dot because that's a new number so that's what we are doing so because whenever we will have any kind of operation we will need a new number and for the new number the dot will be the false because we don't have any kind of dot in our new number so again we can use the new number with a dot but we can't actually add multiple dot we can only add one dot or one decimal point 
and if i hit plus as you can see that it's working perfectly so that's okay and after that let's have the functionality for our this equal button so i can say that equal element dot add even listener so whenever i will have the click event in our equal button what i want to do i want to say that first of all what i want to do actually i want to check if we have any kind of display one or display two if you don't have those things we don't wanna have the equals means let me show you so basically in our calculator we will have the math operation so in every math operation we need actually two numbers okay so to have the math operation equal we must need to check we have two number available so to check it we can say that if we don't have the display to number and if we don't have the display one number or this will be the two number because we checked the one here so if this is the case what i want to do i want to simply return from here i don't want to do anything okay not the result i want to return so we are returning from here if you don't have the display one and display two but what if we have a perfect display one number and display two number i want to show the result here so to show the result first of all i will say that have dot equals to false as i said what it will do so it will do the same thing that we did in our math operation function so let me explain you so if i say that 20 plus 2 and equal so to have the equal first of all we need to complete the math operation that we will have here so to complete the math operation we will say that math operation we will call our math operation once again in our this even listener and whenever we'll have our final result i will say that clear bar means it will update all the screen here and after that i will say that display 2 but in this time whenever i'll click this equal button i wanna show my result instead of this temporary result i will show my result in the second display which is the large display that we have here so i just can say that display display to element dot inner text equals the result perfect and also let's say that i wanna clear this so i don't wanna have my result in display 2 and also in the temporary display i don't wanna have my result twice so let's clear the temporary result for this one so let's say that temporary result element dot inner text equals to the empty perfect and also what i want to do actually i will say that display two number equals to the result now because that's what we are doing here and also the display one number so i want to clear all the display one number that we have here because after that equation or after that equal we will add or we will continue with a new operation so that's it and if i save and let's check it out and let's say that 2 plus 3 and however i'll hit this equals as you can see that now we don't have any kind of temporary result what we have is we have our result in our display to element perfect and after that let's actually work with this clear button that we have here so we have two clear button this one will be the clear all and this one is the clear last entity so let's do it here so let's say that clear all element okay this one is the let me check what is the name sorry so let's name it clear all and here let's say that clear all element dot add even listener so whenever i will have any kind of click 
so the event will be the click and whenever I will have any kind of click what I want to do so let's say that whenever I'll have the click in our clear all button first of all I need to clear everything so that's what it will do so I will say that display one element equal to or inner text actually inner text will be empty and also I want to do it for our display too so all the display will be empty and after that I want to clear the actual number for those display which is that display one number will be also the empty and also the display two number which will be also the empty and finally I want to also do the result so result will be the empty and also the temp result that we have here will be the inner text empty so this is what it will do so let's check it here so let's say that 20 plus 3 and into 6 so you can see that it's doing good and whenever I click this clear all now everything is cleared as you can see or what you can do actually you can say that 0 and 0 and this 0 so if I save as you can see that so let's check it out it's working so when I click this clear all now you can see that now everything is back to zero but the real number for our JavaScript is empty instead of zero. So now let's do it for our clear last entity this CE. So for that what I want to do actually let's say that clear last element dot add even listener and whenever I'll click it. So let's also pass this event here and let's say that whenever I'll click it what I will do I will clear the last element which is the display to element so let me show you what is the last element so if I have this so the last element is this one and if I actually have an operation so let's say that this is the last element that we have here so that's the last element whenever I'll click this CE I will actually clear this last element so to clear this last element let's say that display two number not display two number display two element dot in our text will be the empty perfect and also the number that we have for our display two equal be the empty so as you can see that the last element will be the empty so let's check it out this clear last element so 20 plus and let's say that this was a mistake I want to clear the last entry or you can see that last element or last entity whatever you can say so you can see that now it is actually clearing the last entry or the last entity so now you can see that we have a perfect calculator which is working perfectly so now what I want to do actually I want to use my keyboard to operate this calculator means I want to use my keyboard number to use this calculator for now what we have is we have a calculator which we need to use our mouse to operate so I want to use my keyboard to operate this calculator so let's make those things functional so for that let's say that in our window dot add even listener whenever we will have any kind of key down in our window so key down I wanna do something so if first of all we will check what we actually entered from our keyboard so e dot key so it will be the same thing that we pressed from our keyboard so if we pressed 0 what I want to do so if we press any kind of number we will do similar kind of thing we will actually click those number so to make it together let's actually say that if we click or if sorry I am saying click if we press 0 or 
any kind of number so let's check it so i start with the one two three four five six seven eight and the nine and also the dot one so those are the number and what i'm checking is whatever i will press if this is a number that is here i will go further else everything means if we hit any kind of alphabet or any kind of thing it will not allow to operate this calculator we will allow only this number that we can see here so let's do it so whenever we will hit or we'll press a number that we have here what i wanna do so i wanna click the button that the number represent here as you can see that whenever i will press number one from our keyboard what i wanna do i wanna press or i wanna click this number from our dom element so for that let's create a separate function let's name it click button element so in this function i will pass e dot key means the key that we pressed so let's do it here so let's actually call the function which is the click button element so that's the function here inside the function so first of all let's have the function key word here so inside the function we have the access of the key which we pressed and now what i want to do actually i want to loop through each of our number here and see which is the key that we pressed so for that i can say something like numbers element so numbers element dot for each and for each button of number what i want to do i want to check if our button means our button number dot inner text means this inner text that we have here so if the inner text equals to the key i will say that button dot click so that's the function that we have in our javascript this click method which will allow us to click any kind of dom element so we are checking that if we pressed one let's say that we pressed one from our keyboard so it will call this function and inside the function it will press or it will pass actually the key that we pressed so now here inside of our this function we are checking that in every number that we have if the number dot inner text means this inner text that we have here if it is equals to the key that we pressed from our keyboard means that's the element that we are looking for and inside the element we are actually click it so let's check it it is working or not so let's enter 9 okay that's not working looks like we are having an error so let's check it so you can see that the error is here so here you can see that we have this or symbol but for the last one we don't need any kind of or because we don't have any kind of checking or any kind of condition after this one so it will be okay so if i save it and let's check it so let's press 9 now you can see that in our this calculator we pressed 9 and also let's press any kind of number you can see that it is actually working perfectly and also you can use your number pad from the right side of your keyboard if we have them so let me open the number pad for my keyboard so now you can see that it is also working with the number pad that we have in our right side of our keyboard so now you can see that it is working with the dot also you can see here so it is working but what i want to do actually i want to also do the same thing with our this operation so for now we can only press the key that we have in here means the numbers only 
also let's do it for our this math operation so for that i need to check it here so you can see that that's an if else st statement here so after the if means we are checking here so after the if we can use else if here so let's check for our math operation so else if e dot key so if the key equals the star means we want to do a multiply and after that we can actually duplicate this one so if we are getting the plus or the minus or the modulus one so those are the operation that we can do here so you can see that if we hit any kind of those things as you can see that what i wanna do so for this operation so first of all you can see that i made the same mistake so let's remove the last symbol that we have here we don't need it because after that we don't have any kind of condition to have these or so after that what i'm saying here we need to create a separate function to handle our operation click so we are clicking the button here means the numbers actually so we need to create another function which is the click operation so inside that we will need this e dot key so let's create this function here so let's say that function and the name is the click operation and inside that we have the access of our key so it will be the same thing that we have here but instead of this number element we will loop through the operation element so operation element dot for each and we can say that for each button what i want to do so i will check it if it is the same thing that we are looping through for so button dot in our html or in a text equals to if it is equals to the key that we are looking for what i want to do i will say that button dot click so we are doing exactly the same thing but this time we are doing for the operation so let's check it out so let's do it with the number pad here 45 plus 45 as you can see that it's working so the keyboard is working perfectly we have these 45 into so the into is not working means you can see that however i am pressing from the, our keyboard this into means this multiply sign that you can see that it is not working because what i am checking is we are checking this x actually so that's the problem so to fix the problem what i want to do i will create another else if here so this time i will check only for one which is the multiply sign that we can see here so let's check it here so let's remove it from there instead of that i will check it here so if we dot if we have the e dot key equals to the multiply sign so for this case i will say that click operation so we will run the same operation but this time we will pass the key that we will access from here manually so for this case if we are pressing the multiply sign actually we need to pass this cross sign instead of this multiply sign because that's what we have here so if we have any kind of same sign in our this multiply sign as you can see that we are using capital x so you need to make sure that that's the same thing that we have here and we have there so it will work fine i believe now so let's say that 45 into now you can see that it is working perfectly so after that the last thing that i want to do is this equal sign so now what i want to do after that else f let's have another one else f e dot key double equal enter or 
I wanna do the same thing for our equal. So whenever we will hit the enter of our keyboard or what I will do actually, I will also check for the equal sign, actual equal sign of our keyboard. So E dot key. equal so if that's the case what i want to do so if that's the case i will do the same thing which is the click equal so that's the function we need to create the function here so let's say that function click equal so inside the function i will just click our equal button that we have here so equal element dot click perfect perfect thing so that's it we finished it so let's check it a final test so let's say that 20 45 plus 45 equal or you can hit enter now you can see that it is 90 so also we can check say that 90 plus we can hit the plus as you can see that it's also working so 45 and if i hit enter once again now you can see that the number is here and also we can do the modulus one so let's check where is the modulus one that's here so you can see that 135 modulus 2 if i hit enter you can see that the remainder is one so that's it as you can see that it is fully functional mini calculator that we build with the javascript it will work with the click with our mouse also it will work with the number that we have in our keyboard so both way it will work and we did a pretty good work here so that's it for this video so what i want to say is if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can get the notification whenever i will upload any kind of video in youtube so subscribe the channel and my name is arfan and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kudahafis